Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Kate Richburg, and I'm live from my jewelry bench from my jewelry studio here in South San Francisco, California. And I'm prepping for uh, a class I'm going to be teaching a little bit later today. Um, and I'll share some of those tips um, with you in just a few. Um, but as always, if you're just jumping on and you have not watched any of my broadcasts before, you can find me, uh, all things jewelry related and jewelry tutorial related, uh, on my website at katerichburg.com. And uh, I'm super stoked that you're here today. Uh, what you can do is, uh, to give me some feedback, you can always follow me on Periscope. You can also find my broadcasts on my Catch channel um, at catch.me forward slash Kate Richburg. You can find some of my tutorials on my YouTube channel and of course links to my free classes and all kinds of cool stuff there on my website. Um, you can also share this broadcast if you think that someone else would like to watch what's going on here. I'm going to um, kind of pull this up and turn this around a little bit here so uh, I can see can see me at least. Good morning. There we are. Um, right down on the little uh, right on your screen down here somewhere. Uh, I think it's right there for you guys. Um, there's a little uh, person silhouette. Uh, that's where you share your broadcast uh, or my broadcast with your followers. Um, as well as you can tap the screen to make little hearts, uh, especially when you like the um, demos and stuff that I'm doing. There it goes. I can see those right there. Yeah, for a Sunday morning, not bad. Um, but uh, so let's take a look at some of the uh, tips and techniques for working with, um, with letter. Hello. Hello. Good morning. All righty. And if you do have questions, just jump on in. Um, if I don't see them, uh, you can always ask them again at the end as well. I'm having a little coffee this morning here in my studio. Because I've got to get ready for class. I've got class coming up soon um, for my uh, leatherworking class. But I thought it was a good time as any to um, to uh, share that with you. I'm going to flip this around so you guys can see. Yes, my studio is in South San Francisco, actually, not in San Francisco, um, not in San Francisco proper. So <clears throat> let's take a look here. Okay, so. Um, let's come on in. God, I'm having to block everybody today this morning. <laughs> well, you know how it is on the weekends. All right, let's take a look here. So what I've got are some, let me move this over. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see okay. Alrighty, so <laughs> yeah, get a coffee and tuck in for sure. So these are some of the cuffs I make, the jewelry leather cuffs that I do. And you can see here, there are some um, uh, stamped um, elements, I guess I would call them, on this piece. Let me get them real close to the, to the lens so you guys can actually see. There we go. What's going on here? That's a pretty good pretty good there. And you can see I've used metal stamps here on my metal pieces and then leather stamps here on um, the leather. And people always have questions about, you know, well, what kind of leather kit do you use for these? Um, and what gauge metal, for sure. Uh, this metal, this is 20 gauge, or no, I'm sorry, 24 gauge here. Um, thanks, Leanne. Thank you for that. Um, I really do love these guys. However, you could use any uh, gauge metal that you wanted. I happen to have 24 laying around, but you could go 24, 22, 20. Um, I'd say 24 gauge and heavier um, is, a good, uh, is a good way to go. Uh, so the leather that I'm using, this is vegetable tanned leather, and you can see this one's a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker than this leather that I've got here. <clears throat> but when you're doing metal stamping, Having untanned leather is the way to go. And then uh, you can see you can stamp it here and also uh, dye the leather, the leather 
um, a little bit later as well. You can see here's another one I've got going on here. And a question that you guys may have um, about stamping on leather, you can use uh, stamps that are made for metal. You can use them on leather. Uh, however, you can't use leather stamps on metal. Those leather stamps just aren't hard enough. Um, for leather or for metal stamps, Cindy, um, because I have them uh, for both, my metal stamps, I do, or sorry, rather, my leather stamps, I do carry some in my website, um, actually in my Etsy store. Um, these are some of um, my favorites here. Um, and those will actually, I just got them back in, so I'll be restocking them in my Etsy. But you can also just take a good, you know, a search for, um, for um, leather stamps and you'll be in, in good shape there. This is one of my favorite ones. <clears throat> I'll do a little stamp with that just so you guys can see uh, for fun. I've got a, a rubber block here that I'm going to use as my surface. And one of the tricks <clears throat> to getting successful leather stamping is I've wet the leather here. So I've dipped some of the leather in water and that, well, I'm gonna get this camera down right real close so you guys can see. Um, so it'll take the impression. If I stamp on my leather that isn't wet, it's not gonna take the impression quite as well. Um, oh, just for a few seconds, Cindy, I just dip it in and pull it out just so it gets a little wet. You can see that the whole, it, went through to the back, but it's just so that the surface um, is a little more malleable to take the impression of the stamp. So let me just put this stamp right here. Let me get my hand out of the way. And let me see if I can see around the camera. I'm actually gonna move this up for just a second. There we go. And I'm gonna come in and hit the stamp with my, and you can see I've started to get my impression right there. I'm gonna pull it a little closer to me because I've been, um, and I'm gonna pull this camera up so you guys can see it a little bit better. There we go, I think that's better. You can see my, I'm working away on my coffee here. And I'm gonna dip, Cindy, you can see here, there's my little tray right there. So I can dip it again and I'll dry it off over here. And then I'll get my stamp. And you can see kind of around my hand there. I'll come in. And I'll get a nice, good impression, that little circle impression there. Let me get one that's a little bit, has a little more, um, like this flower. This has a lot of texture to it, so you'll be able to really see that. And I'm just using my plastic mallet. There we go. That's a nice one. Can you see that there? That's a nice impression, just like so. And the plastic mallet works pretty well. I also have a heavier, what they call a maul, M-A-U-L, um, that's also for leather stamping. Um, this is a little light. Sometimes I use my brass mallet too, if I need to whack away a little bit, um, to have my impressions go a little bit deeper in my leather as well. Um, but you can see here, these are some of my metal stamps. Uh, their stamps are more appropriate for metal. But I went in and, hey, good morning, good morning. But I use them here in my leather as well. So stamp first here. Then um, you want to dye your leather with whatever leather dyes you use or you like. I mean, there's a whole bunch on the market. You know, I go to Tandy Leather. Um, a lot here in the States, if you're watching me in the U.S., um, <clears throat> they're a really good uh, good resource, and you can get them online. Um, let me move you guys around. Sorry, I know it's kind of like a little bit of an earthquake when I do this, so bear with me here. I'm going to come a little bit closer so you guys can see the edge of that leather, and I want to share this tip with you. I really think that this makes a real difference between um, a leather cuff or any kind of leather work that you're doing. I think it really makes the difference between having something look like amateur hour <clears throat> and having something look like it's super finished. So let's talk about that. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be working 
the, the side of the leather to burnish it and finish it off. Okay, and let me show you what I mean by that. I have some belting here as well, and sometimes I use this as straps for my pieces, or you could also use this as a cuff. <clears throat> Pardon me, this has already been tanned, um, so it's not really that stampable. Um, the untanned leather is what you wanna go with for stamping. But can you see how the edge of this leather is a little rough, right? It hasn't been finished. And if you have like, you know, a belt or a handbag that has nice leather handles, you can always see that the leather edge is always really nice and finished. So this is how I do it. Um, I use, this is called a, an edger, a leather edger, and you can see it's been in good use um, for me. And so I'm gonna use that edger along with, this is um, a burnishing agent that I get uh, in the States here from Tandy Leather. However, you could also use like a wax. Um, you could use any kind of leather coating. It'll work the same. What we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this burnishing agent to the sides of the leather, um, the leather strapping here. I'm gonna drink a coffee and I'll open up my Q-tip box and I'm gonna use a Q-tip and I'm gonna open up this. Let me do it close to me here so I can grab onto it. And you can see it looks kind of like a gel a little bit and I'm gonna get some on my Q-tip and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that right to the edge. And you can see there how it's just kind of wetting along the edge here. Now, I'm gonna pick up my edger, my burnishing edger, and I'm gonna come in and I choose, see how there's some different sizes of the space in here. I'm gonna choose the size that fits nicely, I think it's this one, that fits nicely on my leather. And I'm gonna rub and burnish that edge down. And what happens is, you can see already how that edge is starting to get um, tamped down a bit. I'm gonna keep going. And it's the friction and the um, agent, the wetting agent, in this case, the burnishing agent, that start to, and you can really see there, see that edge? If you could feel it, if this were phyllo vision, uh, you could really feel how nice and burnished and smooth that edge is. So can you see the difference if I, if I hold this up here? And you can kind of see that edge kind of gleaming a little bit. Can you see that? Yeah, and this top here, it's a little rough. Well, no, it's gonna look smoother the more you work with it. That's the beauty of handcrafts. You've gotta kind of work it in there. And so I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna add a little more of that burnishing agent. And I'm gonna continue with my burnisher and I'm gonna keep going. And so on the edges of your leather cuffs or your handbags or your belts, I just made a belt for my husband. It actually came out really, really beautifully. So can you see that there? See that edge is really starting to come together. And can you see here on this side, you can also really see on the outer edge there how much better it looks. So if you do decide to work with leather, and I encourage you, encourage you to give it a try, leather is not very expensive. Um, you can get some nice um, scrap leather as well. Um, let me show you, this is a little bit of a lighter um, leather. I'm gonna go to where it's dry. And it's a little bit easier to see where I apply that. Yeah, a nice beveled edge, exactly. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're going for. And I'm gonna pull in my burnisher one more time. And I'm just using my um, surface there, my rubber block, to 
have a nice surface of support underneath as I work with this. And again, remember this is the untanned leather, but you can see how that edge is starting to come together. And it takes a, you know, a little bit of patience and a little bit of acquired skill, but you know, leather working is not too difficult and I think it's a fun way to start experimenting. Especially if, you know, right now metal stamping is really having a moment in the DIY jewelry industry right now. And um, I think stamping with leather along with metal, um, I think gives you a lot of really great design possibilities. As well as stamping with leather, there you go, you can see that edge pretty nicely. Stamping on leather is a lot easier than stamping with metal. Oh, that's a good question. Do I use a lot of pressure? So if here's my, my burnisher, I press in and I have a good firm hold so yeah, I am using what I am using a bit of pressure. I'm also creating the friction between the wood and the leather, um, and that's helping to burnish and shine that edge. So you see, there's my third go, and you can see how that edge is starting to get a nice rounded look. So not too much pressure that you're hurting your hand, but also you just don't want to, you know, be kind of, you know light with the tool. You want to really hold it in your hand. So you can see after a couple of go rounds, it's looking pretty good. So you're going to need a wood burnisher. You're going to need some leather. You're going to need, I'm going to flash this again. This is that burn, burnishing agent. Um, you can use, however, um, wax or any other kind of um, luster. You know, um, you're welcome. Any kind of other kind of metal luster or not metal, leather luster product will work. Um, what you're going for is something that has some sticking powder power like this burnishing agent. You know, um, Leanne, that's a really good idea. I haven't used Ren Wax yet, but I bet it would work. I bet the waxy nature of Renaissance Wax um, would work on it. And um, on Tuesday, when you're here in class, I'll give you a piece of leather. You can try it out if you want. <laughs> so, um, okay, I think class is Tuesday anyway. Um, okay, you guys, um, thank you so much. I'm going to turn this sucker uh, back around here. Uh, good, I'm glad, Cindy. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to get all set. There's my box of leather getting prepped for my class. Uh, earlier today. I'll bring over my little sign and I'll uh, have a, there we go, an official goodbye. There we go. My big window in the back. Um, okay, you guys, so next week uh, I'm going to be popping in on the weekend. Um, it'll either be Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure what scheduling is looking like for me yet next weekend. Um, but I'm going to share with you, I don't know if you watched my periscopes um, a couple days ago, when I gave you a little preview, oh, thank you so much, Cindy. Uh, your watching is also very appreciated. Um, my book, I gave you guys a tiny little preview of my upcoming book. Well, I got a, a, a note from my editor and she said I can share two of my favorite layouts and a couple of the projects. So I'm going to be sharing that with you. Well, Lynn, uh, tell me your first name. Uh, L Young 09 and I'll tell you where you can find riveting on le on leather some leather info Linda hi Linda um, so next week when I do share some of my book layouts since you asked I'll share the riveting on lay leather layout uh, there's a new one um, in my upcoming book so I'll talk a little bit about some of the stuff that's coming up. It's called Metal Smithing Made Easy. And you can find it for pre-order on Amazon now. Great, good, I'm so glad, good. I'm glad you have some ideas. Um, you're gonna see, um, you'll see it up on Amazon. So I'll share some of those, whoops, I just got a notification. Sorry, let me close that on my window there, reminding me that I have a class starting soon. Um, you're going to see uh, a couple of my favorite projects, and I'll also share a little bit about how I've laid out my projects and how when I tackle a project like a big craft book, how I actually start that process. Um, and I have a little form that I'm going to share with you on my social media. So if you, and I hope you do, 
decide that you want to do your own book um, because there's plenty of room, you guys, for all of your creative ideas to come out into the world. Um, I'll share that little form that I use when I first jump in and put a toe in the water and think about um, writing a book. So that's what I've got. Have a fantastic Sunday, you guys. Again, it's uh, this is Kate Richburg at katerichburg.com. You can find links to all of my social media stuff, um, teaching free classes, classes here at my studio, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, see you soon, Leanne. Thank you. Um, you can also find some of the products that I used today uh, at my Etsy store. Um, I'm doing a quick update right after this broadcast. So you can um, go over there, pop over there in about 10 minutes and take a look at some of the new stuff. You're welcome, Linda. Thank you for joining me. Um, you can give me a follow, share this broadcast with your friends, and I'll tweet out when I'm sharing um, that book info sometime next weekend. Hey, Dev, I'm sorry you came in at the tail end, but you can watch it on replay. You guys can all watch me right on replay on my Catch channel or here on Periscope for 24 hours more. All right, you guys, happy Sunday. Be safe, be creative. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your vacation, Deborah. Oh my gosh. I'll be on vacation someday. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great weekend.